Hi, this is Wayne Johnson with Pentaho, and in honor of the Olympics starting today, I wanted to show you guys an example of some Olympic an analytics. In this particular example, I've taken the results of the last several Olympics, going back to 1976, the Summer Olympics that is, and I went ahead and took the data so that I can analyze which countries won what medals throughout what year and be able to compare and contrast those countries. So in my dashboard here, you'll notice that I have a list of all the countries that medaled during any of those Olympics and also the years of all those Olympics. We're going to take a look at all the years and maybe let's, let's go ahead and add Canada to my list. I'm just selecting countries that I may be interested in looking at. So I'm going to select Canada and notice that three of my panels update to show Canada. Now my, my geo map doesn't update because I want to be able to see all the placements here. Uh, for all the countries so you'll notice here in my the upper left we're looking at the metal distribution by country so for example looking at 1980 we can see that the United Kingdom Russia and Australia were, were the only ones out of the ones that I selected to to place a medal um, I believe that is the time that the US did not participate in the Olympics um, you can easily notice here that out of all the countries I've selected, the United States, Russia, and China represent, since going back to about, let's say, 1992, the largest percentage of, of uh, winners in the Olympics, uh, as well as Australia. Going to the right, we can look at each of the individual countries' trends in winning medals. So, for example, here we notice that uh, back in the 1980s, Russia was doing really well, had an uptrend, and ever since then, really is a downward slope. Uh, we see here that the um, United States, again, did not participate in 1980, so there's not a dot there, but um, we did in 84, and then we after consecutively after that, we went down, but we've been slowly steadying up, so it'll be interesting to see this year if we win more Olympics and keep that trend going. Looks like the country with the biggest improvement here is China. Uh, notice that their slope going up is much more greater. On the bottom left here, we're looking at total medals pattern. So for the countries, what amount of medals do they represent? And while while the U.S. you could hear if there, it's blank, that means that they they did not medal in that particular year. We notice here that the U.S. comparatively to all the other Olympics and all the other years you know really performs medium even though we get a lot of medals um, you know we we d definitely don't capture all the gold all the time uh, maybe an exception would have been the 1984 Olympics um, and then to the bottom right you'll notice that we have a map showing all of the countries that have meddled within since 1976 and I could zoom into any of these panels simply by double clicking on that and here I may want to let's say we want to just we just want to look at let's zoom into the countries any uh, the South American countries here so we're looking uh, zooming in closer to South America maybe go in a little bit closer as well and now let's say we want to only look at those countries I can I can just select those particular countries so for example here you'll notice that all of those are highlighted on all the other countries are, are deselected. Now what I want to do is only compare the, the cumulative value of those countries. So what I'm going to do here is keep only the selected items. And you'll notice the coloration changes for those items. So when I zoom back in, out of these particular countries, Cuba represents uh, the most medals earning in the... Um, in the South and South American Caribbean um, geolocation. Again, this is a place where you can have a lot of fun and, and just look at the countries that you may be interested in. So for example here, if I just wanted to look at, let's pull up, Romania typically does good in uh, gymnastics. So if I just pull up Romania, it's only gonna show me the data for Romania with their trend, so on and so forth. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of um, Pentaho at the Olympics, and good luck to all the Olympic players.